this is an orthopedic case of the week, a 64 year old female who has a history of a rotator cuff repair in the past, represented to my office about 14 years after her rotator cuff tear, complaining of shoulder pain. So I'm going to show you an x-ray of her shoulder and I want you to be able to tell me what you see that looks very abnormal on this x-ray. And then I'm gonna go over the findings and tell you what's going on. So I'm gonna have you come take a look at this x-ray of her right shoulder, which we got in the office. So just to give you a little orientation, this is the humeral head, turns into the humeral shaft, which is your arm bone. This is the clavicle or collarbone. This constitutes the AC joint, A standing for chromium, C standing for, for clavicular, so AC joint. This is the coracoid and this is the glenoid. So what looks abnormal to you on this x-ray? And does the abnormal x-ray finding give you the diagnosis of what this patient has? I'm going to quickly show you an axillary view. And the axillary view is when we, get, we have the patient uh, raise their arm up and we shoot the x-ray kind of through the axilla area. So this is an axillary view of the shoulder and it's really good for being able to um, diagnose whether a patient has a shoulder dislocation or not. So looking at that uh, x-ray, here is her humerus, here is the humeral head, here is the glenoid right here. So we're, we're looking at the glenoid and this is the joint space between the humerus and the glenoid. Okay. So now I'm going to go back and go over the abnormal findings on this x-ray, which will give you the diagnosis. So we're gonna come back and take a look at the x-ray. We'll start with the axillary, since I have it already up on the screen. So you can see, see this sclerotic area right here? That's from the old hardware from her prior rotator cuff repair. And this area looks like this is also from the rotator cuff repair. She's got a little bit of narrowing of her AC joint, which is not, not um, too abnormal in her age group, but this gives you the diagnosis. She has a high riding humerus. So this is where the humerus should actually be sitting right here on the glenoid. See how the humerus has risen? There should be at least a six millimeter space between here and here. There's about a two millimeter space. There's almost no space at all. So when a patient presents with shoulder pain and you get an x-ray that shows a high riding humerus that this patient has, they have a chronic old rotator cuff tear. That's unfortunately not repairable. When you have a high riding humerus, typically the rotator cuff tears are not repairable. You can diagnose a rotator cuff tear just on x-ray in a case where a patient has a high riding humerus. Most of the time we don't see high riding humeruses with rotator cuff tears, but if you see that on x-ray, it means it's an old chronic rotator cuff tear that typically would not respond to a rotator cuff repair would most likely need a reverse shoulder replacement. So you can diagnose uh, rotator cuff tears on x-ray. Most of the time you do need an MRI scan. 